if I told you you can do exact uncertainty quantification in approximate Gaussian process regression? On the left here, we have a commonly used Gaussian process approximation method based on inducing points and variational inference. And as you can see in red, the approximate posterior mean is a little bit off of the mathematical posterior mean. That's expected because we only expend limited amount of computation. But the uncertainty actually, particularly for the innermost inducing points, is way too low for what we're trying to estimate. Now, the idea of this work is that we can actually quantify the approximation error coming from only performing a limited amount of computation and propagating it to the posterior. So on the right side, we have our method, comparably. And as you can see, the approximate posterior mean is also somewhat off of the mathematical posterior mean. But the uncertainty decomposes into two sources. In green, the computational uncertainty, which is the source of error coming from approximation. And in blue, the mathematical uncertainty, which is the source of error coming from only observing a limited amount of data of the latent function. So you can actually make this very precise, this property. If you take a look at, another, at the plot again at the top, we also plot in black dashed lines the true latent function that we're trying to learn. So what holds for a Gaussian process, the interpretation of the uncertainty is that the difference to the latent function of the posterior mean up to scaling is tightly bounded by the posterior predictive standard deviation. So the true latent function should lie within the uncertainty, within the shaded region, if we add it to the posterior mean. Now for the approximation that we suggest that is based on iterative approaches, the same holds if you replace the posterior mean with the approximate posterior mean and a so-called combined uncertainty on the right-hand side. And this bound is also tight. And the nice thing about this is you can compute both of these quantities in quadratic time. So you can trust the uncertainty estimate of the approximation just as much as you do an exact Gaussian process. And as it turns out, this family of iterative methods that we suggest actually reproduces in their posterior mean a bunch of classic approximation methods. So for example, the partial Cholesky, and after n iterations, the exact Cholesky. For another choice in the method, you reproduce conjugate gradient-based inference. So you can actually equip these classic methods with a better uncertainty estimate. And for example, here for CG, you get the same generalization power, but at half the cost. And for our initial example, where we look at SVGP, this inducing point method, if you accept quadratic time computations, you can modify it slightly to equip it with an uh, uncertainty estimate that actually gives you better generalization because you implicitly quantify the approximation error through computational uncertainty that is then propagated to the posterior. So in summary, we propose a new class of GP approximations which quantify this approximation error in the form of computational uncertainty. This family actually generalizes a bunch of classic approximations or modifies them to include this approximation error. And we get strong theoretical guarantees that actually are computable at runtime. So in summary, if we equip these methods with the combined posterior that we suggest, you can actually either save computation for ZG-based inference, for example, or you can improve generalization. You can find the paper on archive or the implementation on GitHub. Thank you very much.